Hi guys and welcome back to round two of the sunburst granny square. So for round two these are puff stitches. So for round two we're going to be working into the spaces between the treble crochets from round one. So not into the top of the stitch underneath the V but actually between the spaces. So you want to take your next colour yarn, whichever colour you've chosen, and attach your yarn in whichever way is best for you. As I've said before, I do like to tie my yarn. I am aware that it's not the correct way to do things, but it's the best way that I've found that ensures that it doesn't come undone. So when you've attached your yarn, you need to insert your hook into that space and yarn over and pull up a loop. So for a puff stitch we are going to yarn over and insert back into that same space that we've just come from and yarn over and pull through and you will have three loops on your hook. We're going to yarn over again and insert, yarn over, pull through you will have five loops on your hook. I'm going to yarn over one more time, insert back into that same space, yarn over, pull through, and you will have seven loops on your hook. What we're then going to do is we're going to yarn over and point your hook downwards and we're going to pull through all seven of those loops at the same time. This can be really tricky when you first start. Um, so you might need to just wiggle your, your hook around a little bit just to make sure that it's loose enough to get through but also it might take some practice. So just bear with it and keep trying. So we need to pull through all seven loops on the hook. We're then going to chain one and what that does is it locks that stitch into place. So that is what we call a puff stitch. So we're going to do that again in the next space. So we are yarning over and inserting, yarn over, pull through, three loops on the hook, and again, yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, five loops on the hook, and one more time, yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, seven loops on the hook. Yarn over and pull through all loops on the hook. Missed one there. Chain one to secure. And again into the next stitch. Yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all seven loops, chain one to secure. So if you want to pause the video here and make your way all the way around doing a puff stitch into each of the gaps between the treble crochets from the first round and you should end up with 16 puff stitches. So I've made my way all the way around and I've got 16 puff stitches and all that's left to do is to connect this round. So where we need to connect is underneath, if you just turn your work towards you and you'll see all the V's that go around the edge and we need to connect underneath that very first V just here. So we insert our hook underneath that V, yarn over and pull through both loops on the hook for a slip stitch. Chain one, take your scissors and snip your yarn, pull through and pull tight to secure. So 
So that is round two of the sunburst. So join me next time for round three. I hope you enjoyed. Please do subscribe and click the bell notification button to be notified when round three has been uploaded. Thanks again for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.